This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to sync your Garmin XT to your Explore app on your phone so you can keep all of your tracks and waypoints synced up between your phone and the Garmin. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the Drive app on your phone. You can check that you're connected by looking at your phone connections. You'll see the little road should be blue and that means Garmin Drive is connected and that will allow you to use the Explore app on your GPS. Once you have those installed, you have to install the Explore app. You sign in to the Explore app, create an account. You can just use your existing Garmin information to do that. Once that's all done, you can transfer things back and forth. I want to show you here on the GPS so that you'll know that this GPX isn't there yet. If you go to where to go, you go to explore, you come down to collections. I'm going to put a GPX on the Garmin called the Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. So if we go down to the F in here, you'll see that it's not there. If we go back, we have everything ready to go. We go to our GPX file and you can get that GPX file on your phone however you want to send it. You can send it uh, mail. You can text it, you can Bluetooth it from another phone, however you get it, you, know, you, can, you can send it to your phone. Just get that GPX file on your phone. I'm going to do it from a text, so I'll go to the text here. You'll see that that's the Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. Click on that on the iPhone and then click on this little arrow down here. You'll have an option of what to open it up with. I'm going to open it up with the Explore app. Okay. So I open it up there, it says that it's been transferred and it's successfully imported and a collection is created. So that's done. Technically it should be on the web right now, but just to make sure that it's not just in the app on the phone and on the web, I like to go to my library, look at my files and see if it's there. Okay, so it shows that it's there. Then I go to account and I hit sync account up here and that's gonna sync it to the web. You'll see it popped up down there. So you're making sure that that's to the web. It'll work out in the field as long as you have cell service. Once that's all done, you go back to your GPS to go to the gear icon here and make sure that I've synced Explore with the GPS. It says it's synced, so if we go back here, go to Collections, come down, and you should see the Fredericksburg Dual Sport Ride. Very cool, huh? So you click on that, then you can see all of the you know, tracks and waypoints that are included with that GPX. Now watch what happens if we go back to Explore on the phone. We go to our library, we click on the, the Fredericksburg Dual Sport, and we delete it from here, from the web, delete, and then we go back and let's sync it up again, make sure it's synced. Okay, it says it did. So then if we go back here and we sync this back again, Technically, it should all be gone off the GPS. So, go back to our collections, come down to the F, and it's gone. So, this is a great way to keep your device synced between your device and your phone. Thanks for watching. I hope this tip helps out.